When key industry leaders lead safety, health and environment advocacy, everybody listens. In fact, at Al Kafshi Joint Operations, spearheading safety workplace and protection of the environment is a continuous process. Protecting everyone, including you and its visitors at KJO operational plants and facilities. Welcome to Al Kafshi Joint Operations. We have for several decades proven our commitment to safety for all of our workers, employees and site visitors. Without thinking of your safety first, we cannot make another step forward in achieving our overall goals. This program will outline several major safety procedures that every plant employee, contractors and visitors need to follow. Without exception, all employees are expected to comply with the established safety rules and regulations. All employees must remain alert and should learn to follow appropriate safety work procedure. If in doubt, ask for guidance. KJO's safety program covers both onshore and offshore facilities which you are required to follow. For specific offshore induction, the offshore staff will assist you to the induction area where you'll be oriented by KJO safety procedures. Compliance to KJO industrial security regulations is mandatory, including the control of personnel, equipment, and the movement of materials in and out of KJO premises. Mobile phones can't be taken through the process facility's security gates. You are not allowed to take photographs or record video images without authorization. It is strictly forbidden to eat or sleep in the operational areas. Horseplay and fighting are not allowed. The carrying of matches, lighters, or unapproved battery-operated equipment, such as radios or walkie-talkies, is strictly forbidden in the process area. Whenever you doubt your safety, ask. Mistakes can be costly to your person, the person next to you, or the entire plant operation. Keep in mind that there isn't any task so urgent that you should ignore any concerns on safety. No work may be done without an approved work permit. Compulsory training is required for permit issuers and receivers and only certified personnel can issue or receive work permits. Supplementary permits may be required before a work permit can be issued if specialist activities need to be performed in conjunction with the given work. While at work, the rules of protective cloths and personal protective equipment must be followed. Hard hat, appropriate safety glasses, full sleeve shirts and pants or coveralls, safety shoes or safety boots. These must be worn at all times while inside the plant and construction sites. When performing a certain task, you may be required to wear additional PPE. These PPE items are identified from the job safety analysis or specified on the work permit itself. Like when you are working with chemicals, carefully check the MSDS sheets to know the appropriate PPE. Stay alert for any emergency and know where the eye wash or shower stations are located. Vehicle driving and parking rules are strictly imposed at our premises. You should always follow the specified vehicle speed limit.
Smoking is not allowed in plants or buildings except designated areas. Before entering the plants, be sure to ask permission from the control room operator first. There are areas in the plants considered as high risk and are identified by signboards or other means. Safety devices must not be removed, disabled, bypassed or made inoperative without authorization. You must not operate valves, switches and equipment unless you are authorized to do so. Locks and tags must not be removed or bypassed without the proper authorization. Do not enter confined spaces unless proper authorization is obtained and all the safety regulations have been met. Areas are coded with colors. These are part of the signals you must pay attention to. Black and yellow warn you of the danger. When ascending or descending stairways, be sure not to rush or run. In heavy equipment moments at project sites, stay alert of lifting operations above and around you. Unless a crane operator and his rigger have third-party certificates, they will not be permitted to perform rigging and lifting activities. Do not cross warning tapes or barricades. It is safe to work on scaffolding when you see a valid green scaffold tag. Otherwise, when you see a red scaffolding tag, it indicates that it is not approved and should not be used. If you have to perform a task on elevated platforms higher than two meters, you must wear a full body safety harness. Being a hydrocarbon facility, there is always a risk that hydrogen sulfide could pose a threat to people's lives. H2S smells like rotten egg. It is highly flammable and toxic. You can't rely on your sense of smell alone to detect H2S. Nobody is allowed to enter the plant with potential H2S without a personal H2S monitor. Proper respiratory apparatus must be worn before any attempt can be made to rescue an H2S victim. KJO's emergency preparedness is a continuous process involving all aspects of our operations. For your safety and protection, you must at all times follow emergency alarms and signals. KJO is fully prepared. When you see a blue light flashing, it indicates H2S release. Immediately proceed to the assembly point or muster station in an orderly manner and in upwind or crosswind directions. When you hear intermittent sound accompanied by a visual signal of flashing red lights, it indicates combustible gas release. Report to your nearest assembly point. At the assembly point, a head count is made to ascertain that everyone is accounted for. Remain at the assembly point until the all-clear siren is heard. To familiarise relevant personnel with the emergency response system, regular drills are held. Using the nearest telephone, report the incidents to the emergency hotline 111 and say, this is an emergency. Identify the incident location, describe the incident, report any injuries, give your name and badge number, repeat all the information, wait until the operator ends your call. If you have observed any unsafe work practice or unsafe work condition, report such an incident to your supervisor or to the company representative. If you are injured, report at once for medical treatment and inform your supervisor. At 
KJO, we always begin with safety. Pre-job meetings are held where you will be advised what your work will entail for the day. Failure to observe and follow safety rules and regulations will face the appropriate penalty as outlined in the table of penalties for safety violations. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Remember not to proceed with any task when you think your safety will be compromised or when you're not sure of the safety risks. You're now ready to receive your safety booklet. Read it carefully. And remember that at all times, safety must come first.